Want to know why you fail in terms of your development journey, guys? Whether you want to call that a personal development journey or a personal mastery journey or a journey to get to that more secure future that we keep on talking about? You want to know why? Then stick around and watch this video. Hi everyone, my name is Jacques Sneeman and as you know, I make videos to help you stuck in a corporate 9 to 5 who wants to escape the rat race and create a more secure future for you and your family. Okay, so why do we then fail? Guys, I've been struggling with this the answers to that question, right, for a long, long time. I eventually <laughs> went back into my archives again for some or another reason, and I found some pointers in terms of why we tend to not make it, i.e. fail in terms of our personal development journeys. And these are some, some very simple, logical reasons that are easily addressable. In the next video, I'll give you the recipe to actually make sure that you are actually successful. Okay, so there's five typical reasons why we not successful in terms of personal development of any kind or development of any kind. The very first reason, which is one that again took me back again and made me stop for a moment. We fear change. I'm one of those guys that will say to you, hey, I really don't fear change. I thrive in a fast moving environment and I really do. So bring on change. But what I then realized again when I delved a bit deeper is that your subconscious is actually <laughs> set up such that it's a protective mechanism and it wants to keep you in the known, right? And the moment you start doing anything in terms of your own personal development, you're going to change. So you have to make a change. Small or big, doesn't matter. Your subconscious is going to say to you, whoa, hold on, this is not safe. Let's stick around with the stuff that we, that we know. So the first reason is we fear change, right? The second reason is we want instant results. Guys, we live in an environment, in a society where everything says to you, you get results instantly. We also want to do the same thing then with personal development. And th that just simply means that we typically will give any personal development journey or a tool or a technique or a framework or whatever you want to, want to think of right now, one chance. And if we don't get instant results, we say, hey, either that thing is not working or I'm not doing it right or I'm not going to get it right anyway. So we just simply, we want instant results and we, we, we don't give the process or the framework or the approach enough time. That's the second reason. The third reason linked to that is that we simply give up too soon, right? And it links to the, to the, to the uh, uh, instant gratitude thing. But when we hit temporary setbacks, guys, we are very easy to say to ourselves, okay, this is not working. So we give up too soon. That's the third reason. The fourth reason simply is, again, a mindset thing. We are trying to change instead of doing the stuff that we need to do to change, or rather being, right? But trying versus doing, there's a huge, a subtle difference, but guys, a huge difference in terms of the impact that that will have on your success or failure on your development journey. So if you are trying to do something in terms of a tool that you're using, or you're trying a personal development program, let's say, or you are trying to build an internet business, immediately what you're doing is you're building failure into that approach okay because trying something has got immediate failure built into it what's the reason for that simply i'm able to afterwards right when i screw it up or i don't get the results that i was hoping for at least i can say i gave it a try or i tried and i tried this and i tried that and i tried that and i tried whatever else bottom line is it doesn't work right so i can easily discount personal development as a philosophy or a notion because I gave it a try. You will start succeeding and seeing results the moment you stop trying and you start doing. Sounds simple, right? But hell, it's fundamental, guys. And for me, that was another penny that dropped. The fifth reason why we typically are not successful, why we fail in terms of our developmental journeys is we focus on what we need to do instead of focusing on the why, the reason, the motivator. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious that if you keep on focusing on what you need to do, right? You can make lists and lists and lists of to-do things and whatever else you want to, want to use as a tool. Once you start hitting obstacles and setbacks and things like that, you will start questioning whether the what part, are you actually able to do it? And immediately that, that doubt will start kicking in and you will give up after a little while. You might even try it two or three times, but the moment you don't get those results and you get temporary setbacks, you will stop 
And the reason is very simple. We are focusing on the what part and not on the why part. If you have a why that is strong enough and clear enough, guys, that will carry you through anything and everything. And again, I've realized that in the last week, right? Because I, again, went through some tough times. I had a lot to do. My project is really picking up speed now, but I'm also still building the business on the side. And I just, again, realized that my why is what is pulling me through and doing the, the long, long hours after hours at night when other people are sleeping or watching TV or doing something different, supposedly fun. That's what I'm focusing on. So my why is carrying me through. The other pertinent reason here in terms of why focusing on what versus focusing on why is an issue and is one of those reasons why we're not successful is simply be screwing up with the recipe or the secret or the, the process, what it, what it should work like. The, 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 the process is very simple. Be, do, have. You know that, right? I need to be or become or being, okay, the being part of me, and then I will do things, and those things that I do will typically be inspired action, right? And then eventually that will result in what I have. So it's be, do, have. If we focus on the what as opposed to the why, what we're doing is we're screwing up that formula. We're making that formula do, have, be, which is crooked. Right? It doesn't work that way. The formula says be, do, have. Being or becoming the person that is the person that achieves that success that you want to drive towards. So that's the being part. Anyways, you're a human being, not a human doing. And then doing inspired action, and then the results will look after themselves. That's how it works. Be, do, have. But if we keep on focusing on the what as opposed to on the why, what we're doing is we're taking the doing part and we're starting with that. And that means that we actually have cocked up that formula. We say it is now do, have, be. Once I do this, work very hard, make lots of money, right? That's the doing part. Having part, having success, having lots of money, having the car or the, or the house or whatever it is. And then the being part comes right at the end. I will be happy or content. It doesn't work like that. So those are the five reasons, guys, that I've learned and they're logical and pretty straightforward. I hope those help you. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about, right, if those are the four reasons why we fail, how in the world do I actually make sure that I do succeed or that my probability for success on any developmental journey is actually very high. Till the next video.